Welcome back, y'all. It is the Drunk Capitalist, and I'm here again right now, this time with Baby Blue on Vlad TV, explaining how he got caught up with PPP loan fraud. Now, we're going to listen to this story because that's really what it is. It's a story. This man who is obviously going to jail for $24 million in PPP loan fraud claims that he had no idea. <laughs> but I really want to hear this, this backstory on um, how he got caught up in uh, fraudulent activities. Let's take a look. So bomb. So that's that's a that's a quarter million right there. So me, you know, I'm a musician at heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm like shit. I'm finna go cop me a, a blue Lamborghini and put COVID nineteen on the license plate. I'm consult I'm consulting the record label, which is owned by a football player. You feel me? And so we kind of got a good rapport. We all pretty much trust each other. You know what I'm saying? We working together. All right, first question. Can you guys name a record label that's owned by a football player? What's the name of that record label? Because I have no clue. Never heard of it. So I done made a quarter million off these masks. I'm calling like, hey, is y'all, is y'all, do y'all see what's going on right now? Do y'all got a website up? Do you need me to build one? I can make you one for hand sanitizer or something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit, I just made 250. I'm finna go cop this. Baby blue Lamborghini I just seen at H. Greg, <laughs> you know what I said, to put COVID-19 on the license plate. You feel me? Wait, hold up. Homie said he made quarter million and he went straight to get a Lamborghini. Nah, I got to find out how much a Lamborghini costs because, wait, hold on. I didn't know it was moving like that. It could, come, it could cost upwards of $400,000, but around two fifty, dollars you know, three fifty. dollars reasonable i mean i understand if you made 250 dollars in a and twenty fifty thousand in a month you would you could afford technically a lamborghini but that's given if you make 250 every month now if you just made 250 one month you still gotta pay taxes on that you probably gotta pay some people and you probably shouldn't get a lamborghini but this is what people do this is what i be telling y'all people do pvp and they flex on the gram but of course he said this was not from pvp loan money this Lamborghini purchase was from uh, doing business with uh, COVID-19. He like, nah, man, we, we'll do the funding for you. You ain't got to you ain't got to do all that. We'll do the funding because that's what they do. They fund. You know what I'm saying? Football players and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This this is before any PPP loan or any of that. This they 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 finance and fund football players. And I happen to um consult one of the record companies that they This is confusing. The record company funds football players. I'm very confused because record company funding football players. Now just that just don't add up. I don't get it. You manage. You feel me? So when he tell me, okay, we'll do the funding for the whips and we'll do, I say, shit, I need sprinters too for this Millennium Tour. And he said, all right, I got you. I'm going to call you. He called me in the middle of the night, 12 o'clock in the morning. I'm asleep. I answered the call for him. He said, you still need the funding? I say, yeah. Well, what, what, when they say funding, What does he mean by the funding? Are you saying you're getting a loan from a record company to pay for vehicles? I'm just very confused. You're not signed to this record company, but they're funding your purchase for vehicles. Let's just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> He say, um, all right, send me your Double LLC and send me your name. That's it. Nigga ain't say nothing else to me. Ain't ask me no other questions. Ain't say, send me no document, nothing. Nigga asked me for those two things. I hung up the phone, went to sleep. I woke up, 400. So he calls you in the middle of the night and asks you, hey, give me your LLC. 
and you just said, all right, <laughs> didn't even contact your lawyers, your accountants, and get your business people involved with this person who you've never done business with, according to you, to this record label. I'm confused. <laughs> 20 something thousand, 426, whatever it was. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Buddy was official. I'm like, you know, in the music business, everything that we do is like off commission base. You feel me? Managers, they get a commission. Business managers get a commission. Everybody get a commission when an artist make money. So, you know, this nigga is a, a, a football agent. So I'm like, you know, what, what commission you want? Oh, he's a football agent with a record company that funds football players and also buys sprinter vans and cars for musicians. Got it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm supposed to give you for that? He tell me 30%. I say, nigga, that's too much. Okay, so here's the thing with business, right? And he's saying something that makes sense. You know, there's commission in like the music industry. He's used to that. But here's my thing. You gave this man information. The man gave you $426,000. And then after getting the money, he asked you for commission. What part of that makes sense? That sounds non-contractual. It sounds like verbal agreements. And it very it sounds out of order. <laughs> like It sounds very out of order. I am confused. I'm like, that's too much, bro. You feel me? That's 30%. That's off of 420, nigga. That's 120,000, right? So he say, man, I'm going to come get you or whatever. So long story short, fuck what he did, what I did, right? So I get him 100,000. You know what I'm saying? I give him 100 grand because that, that's what made sense to me. I still don't know how I got the money. I'm thinking it came from the football agent loan company. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the details of what's going on because this is the beginning of the pandemic. Okay, so you have no idea where the money came from. You just know you got it and you were happy about it. You don't even know if it was a loan. Huh? <laughs> like, how? I just get very confused, especially with dudes like this that, you know, they claim they make thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars, but they have no idea about anything and they don't take any of the proper precautions or follow any protocol when it comes to business and finance. And it is scary. Like, I just, I just had a violent thought. I just, I just, I just had a violent thought just now. And I'm just like, wait, hold on. This is who I should be scamming. <laughs> it makes sense. These are the people you should be scamming. <laughs> like, if you want to scam me, what are the people you should scam? Because what's going on? What is he talking about? Don't nobody don't know, know what a PPP don't know is. I don't it know. don't exist. <laughs> it's brand new. The only reason these motherfuckers knew is because they was on that. Nigga, I'm a musician, bro. I don't know shit about no PPP. I don't know nothing. I barely know how to file my motherfucking taxes. Keeping it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that shit turned from a company that I was consulting, approving me to a loan, to next thing, you know, I go to my accountant and I'm like, all right, nigga, you know, this what I, I want to do this or whatever with the money. And they like, yo. I, I see a big chunk right here, like 100000 going. Where did that go? I say, oh, I paid these dudes for getting a loan. My accountant say, yo, that's illegal. I say, what? So you didn't speak to your accountant until way after all of this stuff happened. And on top of that, you were able to send $100,000 without the approval of your accountant. Not saying that you need your accountant's approval. You definitely don't need your accountant's approval for permission to do stuff. But when you're in a position when you have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars millions of dollars you definitely want to consult your accountant before you do certain actions because big money comes with big consequences when you make mistakes like this one but i just don't understand okay he said it was around four hundred twenty six thousand dollars, and he gave the guys like a hundred thousand dollars how did we get to 24 million dollars is my question but you know we can keep it pushing. We can keep it pushing. And I tell everybody online, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be aware because you don't know who really got your best interest at heart. This the streets, man. Niggas trying to come up. So I'm like the biggest nigga. 
that's that's a fact people are out here scamming they're scamming everybody and they're scamming especially people like yourself who are very like flashy boastful ready to get the money not asking too much questions as long as you see the money you're good like these are the type of people they come after because y'all are easy licks because y'all don't read stuff just like he previously said that he didn't know nothing about the ppp loan he it, it didn't even exist to him read a book call a professional i don't know like i just don't know what many people be going through look at that that down for this shit. so i it'd be fucked up on my part to not use my platform to enlighten a motherfucker. what they do with the information that's on them but at least now, I I give him credit for that and saying like, yo, I messed up because I wasn't paying attention and I want to enlighten you so you understand like the things that are going on and, you know, be careful out there. Be more cautious than I was. I respect that. So I can enlighten everybody and be so they don't get caught up. How I got caught up because keeping it a hundred. If a nigga really was going to scam, bro, I'm from Miami, bro. Like it's a way you can do this shit and not have nigga a platinum recording artist record company nigga that been established for 20 years put down on some paperwork with my name with my sin like nigga this miami niggas know how to get down out here i i don't got to do all that i never had to but the point is if i'm gonna scam bro a nigga gonna do it right you know what i'm saying so it get it's crazy how okay so uh just for clarification if you find yourself in a position where you're being indicted for fraud and Vlad TV puts you on his platform, we all know Vlad is cops. Um, don't say things like, if I'm a scam, I'm gonna do it right. <laughs> don't say things like that. Just don't say that. <laughs> That's a bad idea. You're you're opening the door for, oh, so you would. So maybe I should comb through your other businesses and figure out how you managed to make all this money off of mass or how you managed to make all this money off of... Uh, hand sanitizer we want to see what illegal things you've been getting into other than frauding us because if you would fraud us for 24 million dollars what else are you willing to do mr blue like like be they running <laughs> name through the mud and put me at the top of this scam and they put a headline 24 million on it and just to spread awareness to everybody you know what i'm saying they use me as as a as a marketing tool at that point. It's called influencer marketing. You feel me? Attached it to a celebrity. Oh, he bought a Ferrari. Nigga, I'll, nigga. I'll... That's really not what influencer marketing means, but I'll let him have it. Been riding foreigns, nigga, my whole life, bro. Rolls Royces. Nigga, I had the Fisker Karma first year that bitch came out. Electric whip. How they drive a Tesla's now? I nigga, I had that bill when it first came out. Experimental. I've been doing this, man. So. You know, it is what it is at this point. It's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. <laughs> I just got to go lay down. It's, it's, the prosecutors don't want to hear that. Weird. They don't want to hear, Words to I ain't know nothing. Because I'm a jail. young black nigga. You know it's what I'm scary. saying? It, it, it's, it's easier to believe, yeah, he was a part of that, than to believe, man, he got duped. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. We get you, but you are a grown man. You have accountants. You have a phone that is connected to the internet. You could have looked this stuff up. You could have checked into the legitimacy of these people. Like you there's things you could have done to prevent this situation from happening. So while we want to have sympathy for you, it's the why should we? You just explained to us how you been pushing foreigns. You been had money. You been making money. You been doing this. So why haven't you been researching? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> he got damn bamboozled. They got over on him. It's easier for the prosecutor who wants uh who wants to continue to get wins under the prosecutor's belt it's easier for them to say all 90 people that that did these loans they all participated man all 90 of them motherfuckers ain't do that you know what i'm saying they ain't do that them niggas know what they was running around. but technically you did because you were the one who sent them the information without asking too much questions 
and you got back the money and still didn't really ask too much questions and then your accountant told you that it was a legal business and did you go to the police did you go to the police after your accountant told you that what you were doing was bordering on illegal <laughs> like you should have done something because we can't believe you were duped unless you actually admitted you were duped before getting indicted come on man i'm telling everybody and then the niggas who got us the loans turn informants they turned to the confidential informants and now they start telling oh we did loans for them and them and them and them and they bought my man said they snitched on me like this and this and that and that and that but these the same people you ain't even tell them where the money came from you told them it was coming from a football agency you know what i'm saying so it's like it's very cloudy right now you know what i'm saying and and as far as the streets go niggas gonna get get it how they live they gonna get money so you know it's a very hush hush thing because it's kind of like if i speak on it too much they're like oh that nigga snitched he gave the game away but you know what i'm saying so i can't really talk on it too much only thing I wait hold on you still worrying about snitching when you just said these dudes that quote unquote defrauded and scammed you snitched on all y'all like i'm confused <laughs> y'all gotta stop man y'all gotta stop with these street codes and all this stuff because look at you right now if i was to believe your story right now and all of this is legitimate you really got scammed because you really didn't know what you was doing blah 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 whatever you are going to jail is that worth keeping a secret is it worth it you just said you're gonna have to go lay down in jail that's not even proper phrasing are you what <laughs> i'm confused <laughs> I could do is just be like you know be careful you know what i'm saying move the right way you know do shit the right way pay attention to everything that you put your name on you know what i'm saying that's that's all i can say i'm finna go do the time you know fuck it it's an experience for me i'm gonna go to jail and observe you know what i'm saying might come out make a movie about that bitch i get first-hand experience uh inside a prison you know what I'm saying? And add to my experience that now I could be an actor and play a prison role. That's very wishful thinking, Mr. Blue, but you're going to jail and I can write the movie and shoot it before you get out. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna observe and make this a whole experience. I love, I honor the positivity. I honor like trying to inform people and let people know, but it is very wishful thinking talking about oh, I'm gonna be an actor after I come out. Like we gotta stop with all this stuff how about we do things right the first time so we don't go to jail at all because you're going to jail and i have the opportunity to make the movie i'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bunch of like uh hollywood types that's going to make this movie first shoot 50 cent might make this movie first like you know what i'm saying like he loves stuff like this this type of scamming you know drugs and dealings and wheelings and lying and all this stuff but you know honestly guys i can't listen to no more of this this is ridiculous um but thank you guys for watching as you can see baby blue is going to jail regardless doesn't matter what he says he is in trouble he gave these people his information whether he knew about the situation or not he gave these people his information he took the money he ran with it he bait he bought what he bought and he moved on and he thought it was all good and it turns out it isn't like I said before in my last video, they are coming. The IRS, the DHS, everyone, they are coming. If you got $1,000, they're coming. If you got 10, they're coming. If you got 24 million, they damn sure are coming. <laughs> so, stop lying. Stop frauding and have a good day. This was the Drunk Capitalist. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.